all right you guys welcome back to my ps series so here we are with a quick tutorial on how to undervolt a gtx 1660 and 1660 super this will also works for a gtx 1660 ti this one that we have here is an asus dual 1660 super but again it doesn't really matter which model you have now let's get straight into the actual undervolt it's gonna give you less power draw reduce your temperature reduce the noise and give you more better fps in game basically we're keeping the same performance but making it more stable let's get straight into it okay so here we are now you will need having benchmark running in the background i will leave the links down below and then you will need to open msi afterburner right here now you want to go on settings here and unlock the monitor and control the voltage hit apply it will say that it will have to reset it will reset and here we are now here we can see the voltage that our card is running at and as you can see it's 1043 millivolts and it's running at 1920 megahertz now what we will do is open the curve editor right here and then bring the core clock down by 200 to lower the curve as you can see it's lowered now you want to go on the 925 millivolt voltage point grab it and then bring it up until you go to 1920 here on the y-axis okay so 925 1920 now hit apply and now as you can see it's running at the same clock but it's running basically 125 millivolt less so we are effectively undervolted now the tutorial is already over you can just copy this and call it a day if you want to get a little bit extra performance go here on the memory clock and give it plus 500 hit apply boom undervolting done now a couple tips for you in case you want to experiment and try to get a bit more out of your card this is like the perfect optimization but every card is different so for example my card will actually do 1920 on just 900 millivolts so you can simply do the same thing as we did before but with 900 millivolt voltage point right there bring it up to 1920 and this is going to give you ever so slightly less power consumption even more okay or in still in my case at 1900 i can actually do 1950 and it's still stable so you can try that one out in case you want to play with it a bit my personal profile is this one then if you want to you can unlock this shoe but they don't really do anything since we are not hitting the power target anyways because the power is the product of voltage for by ampere and we basically by lowering the voltage we are not hitting the power target so no problem but you can do that and the tutorial is done again you want to try this out a bit uh, if you want to maximize your card just play with the voltage a bit the proper range is anywhere from 900 to 950 okay for the best optimization and the clock range is anywhere from 1900 flat all the way up to 2000 in case you want to play with it a bit so this is it guys let me know if you liked it please drop a comment and see you in the next one bye